Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Exiles 4, Quill Korea, Best Korea. We are, right now, we've, we've weathered so much sort of crazy me hitting buttons, um, and are now in a fairly stable position. We've got our two vassals over here. Uh, we are exploring, oh, apparently there's another exploration mission available already. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna check out the, um, you know, the new world kind of thing over here. We're going to see if we can go and expand to uh, North America and then start to bring in some of that train to the Nippon Trade Node. We do have 29% over here, which isn't bad. Most of it's going to Japan, but, you know, split into a variety of different things. If we can get trade dominance over here, it'd be good. Uh, floor prices should not metal. Lose ducats. Fruity liquor. Korea gets Drunken Explorer. Yearly prestige penalty. Oh man, we need prestige. Also, random revolt. Okay. Uh, let's bring up our maintenance. Shroom. Bring the troops over here, and we'll be ready to go and step on this revolt. Our air's decent. That's right. He's 20. Okay. They instantly took that over, which is kind of annoying. Wait, there's a fort here? I don't think I was conscious of the fact that there's a fort there. Do we want an ad, uh, a, a general? Actually, maybe we can get one from the nobility now. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be pretty high. Watch me get another event now, and now all of a sudden we're going to have the whole problem over again, but... There we go. Bring you over there. Speaking of, though, we might want to rip away some more of the nobility land. There we go. It will lower their influence by a chunk. Also their, their loyalty, but... Uh, ooh, oh, can't gain prestige? That's too bad. No, I don't need a half-price advisor. And I'd need my prestige for potentially hitting some buttons with my vassals here. So, influential power holder... Okay, and that one province. That's fine. Totally okay with that. Do I want this fort? I might want to rip it down to save some money. Because if anything, I might... I'd probably want in Shangju over here. Because it's hills, and it's adjacent to more provinces. Yeah, I think I might just rip this down. If I had realized it was there, I would have done it sooner. This one's good. It's mountains. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Yeah, we're losing money because of our military maintenance right now. Which isn't good. So if we went to war, we'd be running out of money. Well, we do have the colony as well, right? Colonial maintenance. But we don't want to bring that slider down. That's the thing. If we're doing colonization, we really are not going to be incentivized to do as much warfare. Because A, we're already growing. And B, we're spending a bunch of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tribute. This was a good move my ships and blockade this to speed this along. Oh, there we go. Done and done. Excellent. Now, I could keep up my army maintenance and do, like, trading and training and things like that, but no. I don't think so. We're gonna try to preserve and build some money. We have no debts. We have no corruption anymore. It's a long, far cry from where we were a little while ago. Subjects are still pretty unruly. They are pretty large. I will give them that. But you're 200 relations. You're not quite. But yeah, I could annex you. The second you become loyal, which we could do if we were able to spend prestige, we'd be able to start annexing you, which I think it has to be a priority because right now things are a little hard to manage. Although if we keep growing through exploration, then it'll be less of an issue, but right now it is. So we're not going to. I guess you have nothing to explore right now. We'll have to remember to, like, change you later. But for now, you can protect trade. And I will build up some barks. Because it'll give us, you know, a little bit of a relative strength. And then we can keep some of these guys behind to protect trade while we send our explorer to go and do explorey things. 
Three light ships doesn't do that much for trade anyway, but... Ming, yeah. For now, we're definitely not powerful enough to challenge Ming. And it still protects us from Japan suddenly declaring war. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go and destroy that castle. And I think that is the right thing to do. Do we have an actual castle here? Yes, we do. Good. Want one in our capital. All right, you are you are proceeding. We're about a third of the way done colonizing there. Lose stability, lower taxes. It has 20 years of reduced taxes. I don't know, I'll do this. Administering an empire from the Memluks. All right, well, good for them. We could pop an idea group here, um, which would give us another outlet for our, our political power rather than tech. But how are we doing here? 15. It is going to take a while before we can embrace this. I'm actually wondering about it. I don't think we can afford to have two colonists. But we could start on innovation ideas, even more tech discounts. Institution spread? I mean, the sooner the better. Economic ideas. Hmm. And embrace cost. You know what? Let's do it. And yeah, we'll take innovative ideas, which I think will fit Korea very well. So, spend it before the institution goes up more. We'll likely hit 50%. At this point, we're actually in a pretty secure position to do that. Oh, I can invest in you. Hello. Global settler increase. I miss that being there for a while. So that's going to be quite good. So yeah, it's just the military that we don't have a sink for. Pending the... Um, the institution being embraced. Take that, Ming. I mean, literally, take it. Are we about halfway? We're about halfway on this colony. And it's speeding up now because of the extra settlers per year. Production, yep. Yeah, the sooner we build these, the sooner we start to reap benefits. I don't think there's anything else we want to save up money for. Because the institution, it would be nice to get a slight discount to the institution by spreading. I think technically enough of our stuff is within institution because of um, our capital being insane. Uh, where's this neon? Where are you? Right here? You've got nothing really specific going on. That's not worth much. We'll just go for taxes. If you had a valuable trade good, then we might do otherwise, but no, this is fine. Still capped on manpower, which is fine. And I mean, the thing is, apparently I could have, like, de dedicated some of my army over here to, to, you know, do this without the native, like, with this, one of the native repression policies. But the thing is... If a war broke out, we could be screwed. I think we need to keep our troops at home right now, because we don't have an overwhelming advantage over anything. We almost have positive um, prestige. And the second we do, we placate the nobility in, in Haishi here, and then we begin annexing them. We're going quite as fast as it could, because we have the Drunken Explorer. Uh, oh, I was going to say we have an idle diplomat, but not really. No. 633. Popular novel. Gain harmony. Generate unrest. No, we let's generate the... Get the harmony here. Oh, we're at 100% harmony. Oh, right. Grows with positive stability. Forgot about that. So, yeah, we have the extra tolerance of one true faith, which means we have the very little unrest. There's no button I can just hit to generate prestige, huh? I don't think so. Uh, we can invest in Viceroys. 
which we may as well just we can get the stability modifier like there's no reason not to I guess plus 14 sure I mean, unless I want to stay, keep some money in the bank in case I need some emergency mercs or, you know, just maintain my army if a war breaks out. Kind of being greedy, but that's sort of been the theme of the entire play. Just be as greedy as possible. Oh, why'd you go up to 64? You have better diplomatic tech. Crap. So I think one level doesn't matter. I'm a five, they're a seven, yeah. I'm going to have to potentially go and spend on Diplotech now instead of getting the next thing here. So I sort of wish I hadn't gotten Viceroy's. <laughs> well, we do have some minorities over here we could consider expel. Or it has to be to the colonies, right? Not this, because this is going to be within my territory proper. But when we go overseas, we could start expelling... Uh, minorities, which is another reason we don't have to embrace as many cultures, I suppose. Spy networks. Speaking of, build a spy network against these guys. Put some claims over all their stuff, so we have we're ready to go. Yeah, we're making money hand over fist. We really could have afforded a second colonist, as it turns out. On the other hand, building up our stuff internally is not bad at all. Um, the Prestige Decay, yeah, I, there's no reason to save up on this, so we'll grab that. So there you go, there's a Stability Cost Discount. And less Prestige Decay means we get more Prestige per turn. But yeah, we're going to have to improve our Diplotech. Uh, oh, there we go, New World Charter. New World Missions. Forgot about that. Forgetting about all the buttons. Three quarters of the way through the Kurils. Once that's done, we will have the ability to explore more over here. So, let me take this fleet. Well, I guess we can't start exploring yet, anyway. But we'll be ready for it. Treasury, 39, or Prestige. Ah, no, there we go. Um... Well, that's actually not going to be enough here. You're up to 70. God, that's annoying. Gain some admin power? Sure. Yeah, okay, just go and park yourself here for a scooch. Mainly declare wars on the Oriat. Do this. You have nothing to explore. Okay. So you are going to be the trade fleet. You're going to stay parked there. So as soon as this goes, we should get some exploration missions. And I want to get the pop-up right away. So that I'll forget about it for ages. And that'll be terrible. Um, we have the point. We may as well go and do this. It's not like we really need the monarch power right now. Things are a little awkward, but... I don't know. Worth putting it in there. There we go. We got some money over here too. We can fabricate a claim. <laughs> Investing in things that'll make us more money in the long run. I mean, trade is probably going to be the biggest source of our income in the long run, but. For now, it's okay. Yeah, these two fleets will eventually merge when they happen to be in the same place. 833. Need another percentage chance of getting some bonus, guys. Come on, trigger. Well, I can get Dong Hai to 50. It has to be less than 50. Yeah. If they hit 59... I don't know if it pauses vassalization if they go over. It might. Can I build more troops? 
you go. Relative strength and whatnot. Rise of Neo Confucians. Late 15th and early 16th century, the previous political stability of the Justin Korean kingdom was disrupted by the emergence of a new group known as Neo Confucians. They were scholars from the countryside who had not traditionally been part of the conservative Yangbang elite that governed the country. Their obvious merits encouraged the kings to employ them in government. However, their reformist notions, along with competition with the Yangbang, a Yangban establishment for land and positions led to ever more frequent clashes between the different factions of Korean politics. So all faction estates lose 10% loyalty. All estates gain a modifier fraction, factional strife, giving minus 10% monthly estate loyalty gain. Modifier will only be removed from completion of the mission Freedom from Factional Strife. And up to three provinces of Korea gain the, that estate. Well, that is grand. It pleases me so much to hear that. We're still at 60. Oh, 59. Okay, let's placate. And annex. Can I annex one of them for stability? And that will fix our issues pretty clearly. You're back up to 50. No, it paused. Ha! Hey, it's our first ability. Yes, higher development colonies. Please. Yeah, if we get our Diplotech, then that'll get fixed. And honestly, we have to make sure we don't tech anything else until we get our Diplotech, or we'll get unbalanced research, and we'll get corruption. I'm going to do this. Higher manpower cap might affect some of our relative score. Oh, innovative ideas is fine. Sure. but I'm not taking the next exploration idea. How is the um, institution spread coming along? Five, okay, all right. Oh, ooh, all right, it's definitely coming along. So no to exploration ideas. I'm actually just gonna right click that, otherwise I'm gonna keep checking it and drive myself crazy. The right click will mean it'll come back when like it pops up again for other reasons. Oh, we're getting a little more information. We know a little bit about the east coast of Africa. We know there's a continent. We don't know what the land looks like, but we know there's a chunk of land over there. There's Australia over there, too. Like, colonizing over here doesn't improve our, our the flow of trade. Like, you know, there could still be some high value, but generally speaking, you want to go and colonize and conquer land in such a way that improves trade to you, because that tends to make you a lot of money and is a really powerful thing to do. I'm going to fabricate a final claim over here, and then we can stop building a spy network. There we go. Self-sustaining. Explore already. So please to be exploring more stuff. And we can make states. I don't think there's any reason to make that state yet. Um, do I want to start the next colony right away? One thing if I colonize here, this will put some of this in range. Just seeing if there's something that's really high development. Nothing else that gives us a toehold. Uh, I can't colonize that, right? So six is about as good as it gets. There's a six down here, adjacent to a couple people. Um, oh, I can't send it to you. Yeah, okay, I'll do this one, because then maybe I could go to war with these guys. And that wouldn't be terrible. Ah, back at the 51. 
I'll placate a ruler goes away very... Okay. So I thought it might have been 10 that lasts a while, but no, it decays. We can stack it, though, if we get more prestige. Um, military tech... No, that would actually put us ahead of time. But, other than raising legitimacy, I don't really have a good sink for that. Oh, an additional tribute. Oh, how rude. Okay, you're gonna wipe those guys out and really finish them off. So yeah, we can go and Diplotech. Oh, is, no, no, it's not that one. Military divided, fort defense, siege ability. Um, honestly, right now, just fort defense, because this will make sieging this thing really annoying. Which I like. <gasps> My heir died. He was pretty good. Ah. I'm losing the prestige. Well, you know what? Let's take that. Looks like it's not oh, and then we get a 444. Well, that's okay. Gain some admin power. Condentieres. Oh, yeah, just a little toehold here. More exploration done. There we go. So, yeah, I think we may still need Diplotech 7 to reach there. Um. Yes, I will do that. Share maps with China, with Ming. That's okay. Humanist ideals. Um, I might want to start saving up here for embracing an institution. Because there's going to be a few more of these are going to be popping. You've popped. There's going to be some more soon enough. Yeah, let me save up for the institution, rather than more buildings. Especially with my military being so high. I can save up to 1400 now, which is good. We may be able to make that work out. Um, economically, yeah, I'm not really paying for anything except the colony. Where's my, where's my ship? Oh. Yeah, it pans oddly when you, you got to cut through the, um, the map divide, which is right here. I think they probably could have fixed that. Here's the thing, like, the camera pans towards the things you click on, right? But they, pro they could have put in a tiny little piece of code, and it's shocking that they never got around to it. That just checks the distance. If I go left versus going right, which way is shorter for the camera to move? Okay, then I'll move this way. I mean, realizing there's a negative number, but you can loop around. It's the stuff I do all the time. It's not hard. So you have another mission, so there's some land. Ah, North Pacific Coast. So we might be able to start colonizing over here. It's crap terrain in the Aleutians, but it doesn't let you reach. Uh, yes, we'll take the prestige, because then, I mean, it still won't last, but we'll get some progress. I can give you the claim on Ferdin. Will that actually make you like me better? No, I don't care. Let's do that. We'll get a little bit more progress towards annexation. Oh, we can get a royal marriage with them now. Oh, nice. There we go. That should help solidify things a lot. Yes! Okay. Okay, exploration done. So if I were to check our colonization range, yeah, we can't reach there yet. We might be able to if I had this. I wonder. Should we have focused on that? So he is shaken, misunderstanding the heritage. Uh, we'll lose legitimacy. I don't get it. Did we... 
Oh, it's our first time reaching enough money for this. Yeah, let's hold off on the Naval Doctrine. I will want it. Probably the trade one. Trade is just so good. But I need to embrace um, an institution first. Yeah, you're just chilling over here. Which actually won't change for a while. So I'm going to get you to also protect trade in Nippon. Because, yeah, it's going to be a while before you can actually get new land. Because that's not going to really help. And it's a fairly new colony anyway. There we go. Boom. This will also help some of the loyalty. And, yeah, next level is a huge colonial range boost, which we may not actually need. But yeah, down to 38. So you're definitely stable. And then once you get annexed, the other one's going to be fine, too. But what I might do is actually appreciate having you... If you can be loyal, that would actually effectively give us more troops than me directly controlling things. Um, yeah, I can take the prestige hits. We're kind of over capped on military stuff. I'm going to wait to hit that button until after I grab the tech. At least it won't be unbalanced this time. Annexing Vassal, you've got nothing going on, which is fine. I might want to go back to, like, building a spy network here in Japan and just throwing some random claims on some things. Could be useful. So is anyone willing to purchase maps for me? I can offer to share knowledge. Yeah, no. Okay. Mission fulfilled. Oh, prospering economy. Hey, that's the income of 14.7. We're over that, so we're going to do this. We need to discount to future development cost, but more importantly, enabling us to get close to the plight of the peasantry. So all provinces in the Korea region... Why does it look so weird? Have to have at least six development. Let me spend some military. And admin? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. That's six. I guess it was highlighting the ones that maybe don't match it. one first in that way because that'll spend more points that way. Kind of okay with this. I don't know if I have all the, the discounts that would be that we could stack on, but it's it's more than one state and it's not that expensive. Any chance that's it? Things highlighting. Oh! A little forgotten island. There we go. So that's going to get rid of the, of the event. And we'll gain us a stability, which brings us up to plus three, which is interesting. And we'll prevent a rebellion from spawning. And we can trigger expand Hanseong, which needs at least 30 development. That's my capital, which it's got. Gives us more yearly prestige and legitimacy, which I don't need as much. But okay, Korean self-reliance, if we get there. Damn. Okay. Um, and I will now request military support. Yeah, which will tank your loyalty, but that's okay. I'm not going to grab that, but we had space for it, and I wanted to hit it as, uh, as early as possible. We're up to five Monarch power per year now. That's certainly adding up there, buddy boy. Ming. One day. One day we're going to rearrange our relationship, but today is not that day. Corning iron. Um, military power is nice, but you know what? Let's build up the, the mercantilism. It is worth more. Short term it was nice, but mercantilism now is definitely a good way to go. Um, 
There we go, it has spread to more places, 297. So theoretically we could embrace. But I think we'll wait, because I think at least this province will probably get there. Ooh, I don't like the... No, government reforms is really important. I mean, I guess we get there eventually, so maybe rushing it doesn't make much sense. Fish. Meh. I just dropped a little. Um, yes, let's do that. Hey, yeah, tech cost, institution embracement cost goes down. Yeah, that was the other real big thing to wait. I was totally remembering that this was a thing, you guys. That's why I was waiting to embrace it. Mm-hmm. Skill 3, half-price advisor. I mean, that sounds cool, but... We have no prestige, but that's okay. We're still annexing the Dong. And yeah, then we really have to do Jean Zhu. How's our um, aggressive expansion? There's some, but basically none, not anything to write home about. Uh, we do want to replace you. Let's go with production efficiency for money. Key imports. If we discard tea, civilization will swiftly follow. Or we should dump their tea in the ocean. Oh, is this... Permanent traders, world, da-da-da-da-da, Korean people. Um, okay, if we do this, we get national rest, advisor cost discount... Oh, this gives us mercantilism. No, let's let's build towards that. I mean, I know that like each point of mercantilism doesn't really mean that much, but it still sets you up in a nice place for some some stuff. What do we get when we finally do embrace this? There's something else. Oh yeah, construction development cost. Yeah, that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, we are far from the cap on military power, so we can afford to wait to maybe have more of the provinces embrace things. Now at some point, you know, this will start spreading um, the institution. Yeah, see, over here. Now, Ming's pretty big. It's going to take it a while to get enough. But yeah. Build spy network. Oh, yeah. Um, hang on. First of all, you. Are you actually shot at actual? Yeah, okay. That. Suo. Okay, we can stop building it. We'll just have it. Influenza. Quarantine the port. Let them die. It's cold, but it's what we've got to do. We're not going to start anything there quite yet. Build another bark. Overlord Ming. Ming the butt. Uh, your world colonization rights have gone away. Boom. Uh, maps. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, diplomatic ideas. No ideas? Why do you have no ideas? Your, t your admin level is still only four. Wow. Okay. Well, that's something. Alright, losing some sailors. That's okay. We've got plenty in the bank. We've got so much coastal provinces. Sailor count's never really going to be an issue. Yeah, I, maybe I could have just waited a beat before doing Bickle. And then done this one instead. Just because we may not be able to reach... Well, we can't now. We do need... I think we need naval ambition. But I think that'll be the plan. Because... Expel minorities cost, naval force limit, fabric claims. Yeah, we don't really need to keep pushing through. In fact, even Viceroy's. Like, Viceroy's was doubly a mistake. Because it delayed us teching up. Yeah, that is not important. I, I need a land of opportunity, but I should have stopped at that point. Still banking up points. We're hoping still to maybe get one more discount. Maybe it's kind of moot. But we don't need to spend the tech right now. I guess it's time for us to put a cut in here, which we'll do. 
Armor's just been sitting around for a while. We have enough money, we could even be drilling them, but... What I actually think, we have so much money. I'm going to recall this, dipl this settler. Wait a tick. For him to actually show up at home. And then send him over here. Yeah, let's, let's get that started. I think that's going to be okay. So it'll be fairly expensive. But I think that's going to be well worthwhile. And we can afford it. Yeah, I like it. I still like the idea of, of having expanded over here. Because maybe we can start some stuff. Just dump our troops and just conquer a little over here. These guys won't care about aggressive expansion or anything like that. Give us a little bit more territory. Maybe back trickle some, some trade power. Something like that. But hey, thanks for watching another episode, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.